Hello, everyone. Let's say you got caught in a situation. Maybe it was a misunderstanding. On a scale one through 10, 10 as being the worst, one as being the least, the situation, or should I say the problem you get with that person, let's say that it is on a level two. So something very, very small. But when you get in that problem with that person, that person is yelling and screaming at you as if the problem is at a level nine or a level 10. Just yelling, screaming, and as it seems, losing their mind for something at a very low level, a very small problem. You may ask yourself, like, did I really do something that bad? Is the problem I have with that person really that bad for that person to react in a very bad way? You have to understand that person has a problem. From what I believe, that person is not so much reacting based upon what happened between you and that person, but I believe that person is reacting based on something that probably doesn't even concern you, probably something that happened to them in the past. I believe that is where most of that anger is coming from. So you have to really think about it. If most of their anger is coming from something that happened to them in the past, let's say in their childhood, what can you say? What can you do? Like, what point would there be in trying to prove your innocence if the problem you have with that person it's not really the overall problem, if you know what I mean by that. If 95% of their problem is because of something that happened in their past that has nothing to do with you, what can you say, what can you do to really make a difference? As in, in trying to persuade that person that the way they are behaving is uncalled for. In cases like these, you are not the problem. Yes, you may have a problem with that person, maybe on a very low level, but as far as them acting in a very bizarre way, I believe a lot of that anger is coming from not so much you, but from their past. Are you understanding what I am saying to you? You are not the problem. Perhaps they have unresolved problems. Pretty much putting their problems on you. Because you are there. They may have problems with their mother. They may not show their mother any hate or anger. But because you are not their mother, they feel okay with placing their anger upon you. You are not the problem. In a sense, I would say that you are pretty much innocent, pretty much being punished by someone unjustly. It is not really your fault for that person to behave in the way they are treating you. More than likely, they have unresolved issues. More than likely, they are emotionally hurt. In a, 
in a sense, taking their pain out on you at the same time thinking it is okay. So in this sense, the problem is with them, not so much you. Yes, a situation may have happened between you and the other person. Yet, there is no need for that person to overreact, to overreact. If a person chooses to overreact, the problem is with them, not so much you. You don't have to take responsibility of a person's poor actions toward you. This very incredible anger that some people may show, I believe much of the time it is uncalled for. At the same time, we should not provoke people to anger. Yes, I know there are some times when it may be okay if it is done playfully, if both parties are okay with it. I hope all of this makes sense. May God bless us.